Who? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I told my husband, no more babies, okay? Until. <laughs> but in the you may have thing, you don't even remember what you went through when you were delivering this one. It's <laughs> oh my god, but yes, guys, welcome to my labor and delivery story straight from the <laughs> from the hospital. <laughs> good morning guys and welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here my name is Millicento <laughs> my name is Millicent Zandax I'm a family food and lifestyle Nigerian American vlogger living in the United States oh my god <laughs> ah, I can't believe I'm carrying a baby oh chimo <laughs> Oh my god i'm so i don't know i can't stop blushing but then i'm not like 100 100 percent happy okay but there's nothing i can do about it as i'm talking to you people now my baby girl is here as you guys saw from the last video she's here and i'm carrying her my body yes so i'm doing skin to skin that is why i'm not as a, i'm just wrapped up i'm doing skin to skin on her coupled with she wouldn't sleep on her bed and um, yeah this is 7 35 a.m my husband has gone to pick up the kids from our sister's place and then take emma to school i told him it's okay if emma doesn't go to school but he said no that she wouldn't just miss school just because we had a baby but yeah after taking emma to school he'll bring the other two sisters here to come and see their new baby sister <laughs> Oh yeah, if it's your first time here, this is my fourth baby girl and I'm so, so excited. Okay, I said I wasn't 100% happy, right? Because I was supposed to do my baby mama dance today. <laughs> Honestly, if I remember it, I feel like crying. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to start. See me after I planned everything, okay? I have arranged everything. I have organized myself. I have done every damn preparation any pregnant woman could ever do. The only thing remaining was this baby mama dance, and I was like, I want to do it on that day. I will turn 39th week, but not that I wanted to do it. I couldn't do it because my husband was not around, and I don't want to do it when he's not around, just in case something happens. Okay, and I was like, okay, he, he just came back from Texas yesterday. Like it's like this baby was literally waiting for him to. Daddy must be there for me to be for me to come out into this world. You understand? And I don't know why she's in a hurry to come out. Like, come on, baby, this is. 39 weeks, stay there till 40 weeks. What I can madaju. I'm a mom do you bato body out to your pata ele. Okay, let me make a reference, a funny reference. Then the woman said that her baby boy refused to come out knowing that he was coming to Nigeria and the baby <laughs> is refusing to come out. I don't know why this one was in a hurry to come out. Oh no 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 be go but eh you think on time last night when I was having contraction and when I was in labor I didn't know exactly what was making me like what was paining me. Is it the pain of I looked forward to this baby mama dance. I looked forward to it as I craved it. And Bella Presh asked me she told me do a baby mama dance and keep it just in case okay in case you don't make it to 40 weeks i was like nah i my baby is always come on their due dates my baby is always come on their due dates and if you watch the video from my 39th week appointment everything happened the same day that was me dancing jumping up and down in the um in the doctor's office like if you still ask me how this thing happened, I don't know. Last night I was busy editing video. I said no. The the contraction was happening. I said like like I crossed my leg like this. I said, I'm not going anywhere. We must dance this dance because even Emma, even Emma was looking forward to it. Eh? How are we going to do baby mama dance without a baby in the stomach? I even bought clothes though. I bought clothes. Oh be a Oh be a but yeah this is the baby and i'm super excited that she's here oh my god as i'm talking to you people i don't even know how the 
the vlog went when i'm editing it i will know how it went the vlog from the delivery vlog my husband is not 100 percent good with cameras okay and coupled with um the midwife had him do some stuff he had to hold my leg and she was just like giving him instruction do this do that and I don't know if he got a good video but just in case he didn't know let me apologize in advance because the best vlog will be before this one okay but so, let me just apologize in advance okay <laughs> just in case that one is not good i don't know you know it's different when you're the vlogger you're the one filming it you know exactly what you want to film but in the air for crying out loud i was crying out loud <laughs> i was literally crying out loud come on like i don't know what happened the pain and guess what guess what i had a epidural i was this man gave me epidural kept he gave me three in, um, epidural injections three of them and none of them worked i ended up i felt the pain i felt the pain of delivery i ended up delivering the baby i was like then why the heck did i even get the epidural in the first place Look at me now. Zuri, I did not use epidural for Zuri. Zuri was seven pounds and Zuri came out like serrated water. But this one, I used epidural and she's still a small baby, like seven pounds, and I still felt the pain. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? I pushed this baby once, okay? While I was shouting, okay, the woman was teaching me how to push the baby, okay, and which was kind of they prepared to push the baby to, to kind of to enhance the contraction okay but when the midwife now came in it was time for me to push she was like okay everything is said to raise up your leg do this do that and she told me push the baby i told myself someone he gave a push you more than once you're going to push this baby once and that is it my dear brothers and sisters i all my freaking strength i pushed this baby once hey nah -eh. you don't even want to see what happened over down there <laughs> you don't want to see what happened down there but yes i pushed the baby once and the baby just came out <laughs> oh my god i'm so so happy but yes, they were like even the even the the woman that was taking care of me all through the night. She was she's currently pregnant. She's twenty three weeks pregnant. She was like, oh my god, I don't think any woman can push a baby the way you just did. I don't think I can do that. I told her, no, you're going to do more than that. Okay, you're going to push your baby just once. My dear, I already made up my mind. I don't want to push in the air. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I told my husband, no more babies okay until <laughs> but in the uh, email kind of thing you don't even remember what you went through when you were delivering this one <laughs> oh my god but yes guys welcome to my labor and delivery story straight from the <laughs> from the hospital yes i still have my iv fluid here not fluid they just put it just in case they need to give me fluids and i still have my name tags here and like i said the baby is sleeping i just ordered my breakfast and i cannot stand up my nya she's on fire <laughs> oh my god i would have loved to give you people a tour of my of our room but i as you can see the baby is sleeping and i'm not putting on any clothes but i'll do that i'll give you guys a tour later this place is actually more beautiful than the tour i just posted and guess what guys you people are watching this video weeks after i already put to bed today is actually january 23rd and that was when i had a baby and like i said i had a baby earlier than i'm supposed to and my tour and delivery um my hospital tour video was supposed to come on next week on the 29th after i've had the baby just like I, I, my husband and i agreed to post that one after i've had the baby as i'm talking to you right now it's 7 43 i had a baby at 1 a.m no single person in our family no single of my friend and guess what fantastic fever was calling me while i was pushing the baby most of i was like oh it's fantastic fever say can you just keep the phone down please <laughs> keep the damn phone down <laughs> oh my
my god we don't want to go ahead and tell everybody now because i have a lot of videos i need to put out before all of these ones okay like i said i already planned my videos and then the baby just came earlier and i won't just go ahead and announce that i've had the baby if not people wouldn't watch the previous videos and they will be a waste you understand so yeah i won't be telling anybody for at least two to three weeks now we've had the baby only immediate family and friends like when my husband tells um the brother and the si and his wife and then the lady um, my sister is taking care of us here in in america yeah i would tell like my close friends and stuff like that but social media no social media won't tell anybody until these videos are out of the way but yes like i said welcome to my labor and delivery story <laughs> oh my god so somebody was somebody just commented in the video i posted like i said today is january to start and i just posted the hospital tour i posted it because i'm already here this is a video i made like two weeks ago when i was 36 weeks pregnant yeah so somebody was like that i should keep some things private um just in case you're watching this video sweetie i totally agree with you and honestly i'm not oversharing and like i said my husband goes through every single one of my video and approves it before i post it okay and i wouldn't purposely post something that will harm me in the name of trying to make people happy no i wouldn't do that i'm already in the hospital i've had a baby and by the time you people were watching it i'll be out of the hospital so it's not like i posted it and i'm yet to have the baby weeks to come no baby but thank you so much for your concern i really appreciate it that was so sweet of you i don't know oh yeah took a plama oh jesus i've been begging these people to turn down this ac has everything the generally controlled I'm feeling cold. I asked them for warm towels, warm blankets. By the time the warm blanket could get here, the thing has become cold. So I ordered my breakfast. Oh, in Texas. <laughs> In Texas, they don't go. They, you don't have to order anything. They give you what they have. They bring the food. By this time, you need to take the food is already on the table for you, and whatever they give you is what you eat. But in the AC, I sorted food now. In my eye chug and shape. So see what I ordered. I ordered um, oh, children. So I ordered <laughs> scrambled eggs. Turkey sausage. I'm all I can do more here. Turkey. <laughs> it's turkey sausage, okay? Okay, somebody said that I don't know how to speak English. Somebody sent me a message that I should try and learn to speak English. I'm like, are you kidding me? If I start speaking English, my brother, you don't even understand me, okay? So do not make that kind of joke again if that is a joke i know how to speak english i choose to speak how i want to speak me choosing to speak what i want to speak is none of your business bro is it bro or bro or bro <laughs> and yeah if i'm gonna give you welcome this money but yeah i ordered turkey sausage okay i ordered avocado i love avocado i ordered um brown rice oh chimo has all helped brown rice in john why am which one is helped brown rice you know some it's just helped brown rice hey with the calling him now we should not die here hey with the calling him now we should not die here but yes i ordered helped brown rice and some um um i did oatmeal as well with some milk and then mixed fruits but why am I assuming should she bring sugar? Ma siamba. Once I have this baby, no sugar. Although my husband wants to go and buy the Dennis for me, but by the time I carry it, shall I not? I just want to taste these people's food. He doesn't like me eating hospital food, so don't tell him. <laughs> don't tell him I'll eat. I want by the time he comes back, I'll eat this. Also, doesn't I'll eat it later. It's not as if I'll eat everything that they give me. I just want to see what their food is like, you understand? But yeah, they say it will be ready in for 30 to 45 minutes so I, i'm guessing maybe they prepare everything from scratch but yes guys i'm so happy oh he's testing me because one oh my yay it's my sister my husband has told my sister <laughs> oh she said she'll stop by later this morning okay no while 
But we had to go knock on this woman's door last night to leave Emma and Zuri and Dior there. I wonder how these children disturbed her. And another thing is, oh my God. I was really wanting, I was really hoping that the kids would be here for this delivery. But if Emma, if Emma had seen me go through what I went through last night, Emma would not. Emma just saw me, I was having contraction at home. Emma was like, mommy, I don't even want to be pregnant. Being pregnant is too much work. I was like, eh? I called my husband and said, Emma is not going to the hospital with us again because we had planned that all of us were going to go. Apart from the fact that, okay, these are two reasons that they did not come, they were not able to stay here for the delivery. Once it's 9 p.m., no kid is allowed, okay? Whether, whatever it is, no kid is allowed. So, one, we couldn't come in with her because it was midnight. We couldn't come in with them because it was midnight. Secondly, Emma already freaked out seeing me crying at home. Not that I was crying. I, okay, I will show you a video of what happened exactly. I wasn't crying. I was just like showing her my stomach as the contraction was happening. What a great mother freak out. Said that she does not want to have a baby again. She does not even want to be pregnant. Oh, Chimo. I said, again, Mel, come, 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 come. Emma is not going to the hospital with us again. None of them will. Because it will, she will get traumatized. And you know, my younger sister, Fafa, was actually telling me this the other day. Are you sure this girl is going to be strong enough to be in the hospital? She's like, she's five years old. I said, yes. But the thing is that I feel like Emma is smart. But my dear, woman's a woman, no matter what. So yeah, I thank God she did not come. She had seen the way I was screaming and crying. There's nothing fun about that. She will start crying. She will think her mother is dying and... So yeah, I really apologize for not having her there because I already promised you guys they were going to be there because I wanted to get their reaction. They see their baby sister come out of the boat and all that stuff. My dear, we only plan and God makes things happen. And do you know, I feel like every other thing I planned for this pregnancy happened except this baby mama dance. And I was feeling like, oh my god, I finished planning this baby mama dance with Nosa and Bella Presh. Come and see my costume I brought out at home that I was going to use and dance. I was going to make it so funny, like so crazy. That was all I thought. <laughs> but yeah, I guess one thing I, I one thing i live my life by is this anything that doesn't happen is not supposed to happen okay and god makes things happen like you all you do as a human being is plan 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 and after that that is it it's left to god to make things happen the way he wants it to happen so that was another reason why i'm not kind of like mad i was like Oh my god, if I do the baby mama then it's at least to help my channel to grow and stuff like that. But maybe that's not how God wants my channel to grow. Maybe God wants it to grow a different route. He wants it to happen differently. He wants it to be based on my hard work and stuff like that. You understand? But yeah, at the end of it, I thank God the way everything happened. And I'm most grateful for having this bundle of joy. She's so cute and so cozy. She's just laying on my body. I see if she's still inside the stomach. But that is why I'm carrying her on my body. I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be carrying her a lot. Because we've done our two hours of um, skin to skin. But my dear, it's freaking cold in here. And these people wouldn't listen to turn this thing down. But that's not what we're talking about. Oh my God. I just wanted to tell you a brief story about how what happened last night. And yeah, a lot has happened. My husband refused to sleep on the bed that they gave him over there. <laughs> he slept on the chair. I told him, come on, man. Go home and go sleep. He said, no. He's going to stay here, but then he's not going to sleep on the couch. Whenever he comes to the hospital, he keeps his body like... Before this man would touch anything, he will wear five hand gloves, okay? <laughs> He'll wear five hand gloves. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, he doesn't like to stay anywhere around the hospital. But, yeah, he has gone home, and I'm just here bonding with the baby. As for my second day... <laughs> I am here. I just read Sister Flo's comments. She said, So you, because this place looks like a hotel, you're looking for a way to stay here for extra day. Carry your baby and go back and bond with your baby there. I told her, I am here scheduling my master plan. 
Nga wanda ni ke kane be ma oku. My nyash is on fire. That's what I would tell them. And I cannot move. No. We're going to bring acting. You people not used to act, Abi. We're going to bring acting into this room today. So I'm going to go one more day. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay here. And give my husband time to bond with his children. And the kitchen. And that dishes. <laughs> And those dirty dishes I left in the house. Let me give him time to bond with them. In the meantime, let me bond with my new bundle of joy. <laughs> hey, why you came, Jesus, I cannot move. Dang it. Like, to climb this bed and come down is a big wahala. But yeah, look at that. I, I love, like, the support and all that stuff. This place is really cute. Let me see if I can put this baby down and give you a tour of the room and the bathroom like i entered the bathroom i was like eh gain me come and see the place did not get hotel conga where airbnb oh chimuna mokoke airbnb airbnb for those that don't know is where you as an airbnb is like i have an apartment i rent out my apartment i don't live in there i just rent it out for people to come in and stay but before people come in to stay there you have all these things set up come and see those come and see pad Oh, wait, let me just bring this baby down and give you a plate, so, okay? <laughs> oh my God, you people are lucky. I am giving you people. Oh, somebody is coming. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes. My name is Erica, I'll be your nurse today. Oh, thank you and welcome. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm feeling good. Still hurting down there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How would you rate your pain from zero to ten right now? If I move, if I move right now, like a nine. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to be positive. That's why I'm smiling. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want your pain to be that high. Yeah. So let me see if the last time you took anything. That way we can just stay on top of it. Okay. So guys, the nurse came in to check my blood, um, my yeah, temperature and stuff like that, and also checked the baby. I went to ease myself, and she changed the baby's diaper. <laughs> That's the baby over there. My breakfast is here. I will show you people what they brought. It's very funny. But first, let me go and brush my teeth. My husband hasn't brought my hospital bag yet. We came with it last night, but then is in the car and he was in a rush to go take him out of school so he couldn't bring it in for me so everything is here in the car but this is the restroom and everything is here like everything i can i need is here look around so so you come in here i have extra clothes extra underwears and extra pads and wipes as well I have towels, extra days. This is like a racing bottle. Look at that. Look that she may arrange can do hot <laughs> I have extra towels and stuff like that. That's a washcloth over there. Bad, bad. When you come in here, you have bathing soap and wash towel as well. And this is what it, your bathroom looks like. I have the spray and I'm just going to um, spray it. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's a chair over there. And I have a toothbrush and toothpaste here. So I'm going to use this and brush my teeth while I wait for my husband to bring my own toothbrush and toothpaste, which I may not have to use again. Yeah. Oh God, this is me. I cannot even stand up properly. Like, I cannot stand up properly. This is my stomach. It's paining me, my stomach is paining me badly. And this place that they gave me epidural is also hurting me. I'm going to manage and stand and brush my teeth so I can eat. I'm not gonna get my See, I'm blabbing. I said I'm going to stand up and eat. So I know how to swim with me. The baby's crying. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. I scan your band. Okay. If you could tell me your first and last name and date of birth, please. My first name is Millicent. So this is the Dermaplast spray that helps with uh, to numb the area. And 
And then this is lanolin. This is a nipple cream, okay? So if you feel any dryness, you just use a small little, little amount. It's safe for baby. And then this is a Motrin. Okay, thank you very much. Do I get ice pack? Yes, I can grab for you the, some. For the bonbon? Yes, okay. yes, I can grab you some. Okay, thank you. And then, um, when you go to the bathroom, just make sure you're using the, the, spray, bottle. the spray bottle too. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and take this now? No, I need to brush my teeth. Oh, okay, sure, sure. I'll grab you the ice packs. Okay, thank you very much. So, this is a spray. It's a pin and each spray. So, you spray it in your bum bum and it reduces the pain you're feeling in your, in your bum bum. Let me brush my teeth, okay?